Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I will show you how to smooth out noisy sensor data using a RISC-V microcontroller. So we will explore the moving average filter, a powerful yet easy to implement technique that can significantly improve the accuracy of your sensor readings. When working with sensors, the data you receive can often be noisy with rapid fluctuations that can make it hard to get an accurate reading. So this is where the moving average filter comes in. By averaging a series of recent readings, we can smooth out these fluctuations and get a more stable, reliable output. So first of all, uh, we will be setting up uh, the Arduino IDE for CH32 boards. So for this, we will navigate to the GitHub uh, link. So this is our GitHub link. So this is Arduino Core CH32 by OpenWCH. Now, now as you go uh, scroll down the github repository you will find the link here the json link copy it and then go on to preferences and copy it here and then click ok and when you do it you get the ch32 boards here ch32 board libraries here now your setup is successful first of all we will navigate to the app data folder so here we will go to the arduino 15 folder in this we will go on to the packages the WCH library and then we will go on to the so now uh, to to activate it activate the analog read function we will go into this file and here we will check that this is this analog module is enabled so we will start by defining the variables this sets the number of readings we will average which in this case is 35 and this array will store the last 35 readings from our sensor. This variable keeps the track of where the current reading will be stored in the array. This holds the sum of all the readings for easy averaging and then and then finally this variable stores the calculated average value in this setup function we initialize the serial communication with serial dot begin with this pod rate allowing us to monitor output in the serial monitor next we have a simple for loop we have a simple for loop here uh, that initializes all values in the readings array to zero. This ensures that we start with a clean slate before any sensor readings are taken. Let us now understand this loop. So first we subtract the current readings at read index. From the total, this step removes the old reading from the sum since we are about to replace it with the new one. And this analog read step. 
So we read the analog value from a pin A1 using analog read A1 and this store this value in the readings array at the position specified by the read index. We print the new reading to the serial monitor with the comma to separate it from the next value. Next, we add the new reading to the total updating our sum to include this latest value. We then increment read index. We then increment the read index to move it to the next position in the array. If read index exceeds the array size, we wrap it back to zero, cycling back to the start of the array. Finally, we calculate the average by dividing the total by num readings variable, which is then printed to the serial monitor. Let us now discuss the advantages of moving average filter. So this filter reduces random noise by averaging multiple readings, resulting in a more stable output than simplicity. It is easy to implement and understand, making it a great choice for beginners and quick projects. Real-time smoothing provides real-time smoothing with a minimal computational overhead, which is ideal for embedded systems like VSD Squadron Mini and improved accuracy. The filter enhances the accuracy of sensor readings, which is crucial for applications like environmental monitoring, robotics, and more. So now we verify it and then we upload it. Then we get such output.